David, though, we're going to talk to you, though, right now because you got a new book out awesome. called The Latte Factor, Why You Don't Need to Be uh, Rich to Live Rich is the book there. So tell us more about that and what people are learning from reading. Yeah, so, well, super excited to be with you guys. So this is my 13th book. just came out, an instant international New York Times bestselling book. It's just going viral all over the world right now. What's different about this book than any book I've ever written is that's a little story. So I've always done these nonfiction personal finance books. Mm -hmm. Well, the problem is that 98% of people will never read a financial book. <laughs> so, so how do you write a book that the average person will really read? And, and here's a great example of who should read this, because I just came from your green room. And in your green room, there was a person in the makeup room who must have just started working here. So she's on her laptop, and she's asking the other three people in the makeup room, her friends, you know what, I can sign up for my 401k plan right now, but I don't know what to do. What should I do? Well, it happens to be that that's the core story of this book. What, what she, first question she asked was, should I, should I be paying myself first using a percentage or a dollar amount? Mm -hmm. Well, the lesson that Zoe Daniels learns in this book is that she needs to pay herself first one hour a day of her income, which happens to be 12.5% of your gross income. That's the secret formula to becoming a millionaire. The second thing that she asked, and this again happened in the green room, mm -hmm. She said, should I use a Roth IRA or a regular 401k plan, right? So now, she, now by the way, super important question. Yeah. And then the third question she didn't get to because I came out here <laughs> would, would, would be, well, how do I actually invest the money in the plan? Yeah. And that kind of a question which she's asking people in the green room is not actually where she should be asking three strangers or friends. <laughs> you she, never know. They could be she, experts. She should be reading a book like this. And or, so yeah. what happens in this book is that Zoe Daniels is a millennial living here in New York City. She works in publishing, and she's living paycheck to paycheck after six years. And like so many millennials, she's kind of giving up hope. She's got student loans, she's got credit card debt, and she's renting. And so Zoe Daniels goes on this journey where she meets mentors that teach her how small amounts of money can change her life, starting with things like 5 to $10 a day, that if she gives up her latte, or she makes her lunch and doesn't eat out every day, or she skips having one drink after work, yes. that if she took that $10 a day, she could become a multimillionaire. So is that what you're referring to when you're saying that people can live rich now? Well, like there's two parts to this. So the, Zoe learns two different buckets to put her money in for the future, which is retirement, and into a dream account. So the live rich part is that everything's not 40 years from now, right? Because when you're in your 20s or your 30s, you can't even visualize yourself at 60. Yeah. But true. if I ask you something you want to do right now in the next 12 months that takes money, you've got something. So Zoe learns that, like, first she's got to identify her dreams, which we all do, and then we need to put money aside automatically for those dreams. So, like, in Zoe's case, she's a travel editor without a passport, and she's never traveled out of the country. And her dream is to travel abroad. So she starts saving for that trip abroad, and later in the book you find out she actually is able to take that trip. Yeah, you know, it is, it is, I mean, I'm glad these questions are being asked in the green room. I'm glad we're answering them <laughs> yeah. here while well, the cameras are here and the mics are on. The Yahoo Finance green room. Yeah, the Wi-Fi. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, ask, we answer a lot of questions there. No, but I mean, these are the things that a lot of people try and figure out, myself included, is, all right, how much money should I actually be putting towards the 401k? What percent should I be doing? My friends and I were talking about this over drinks, so I didn't save money, but we were drinking and talking <laughs> about this, and, uh, you know, we came to our own answers around that. But I mean, what is the answer? The, the answer is at a minimum, one hour day of your income. So when it, whenever you go to work, you go to work from 9, 9 mm -hmm. to 10, whatever you earn an hour, you keep the first hour day of your income. That's 12.5% of your gross income. The average person goes to work, and if they have a 401k plan, and if they use it, they're only saving 3 to 6% of their income, which is half of what they need to, pay, well, what they need to save. Yeah. So the three secret lessons that Zoe learns in this book, pay yourself first, don't budget, save money automatically, and live rich now. And those are life-changing lessons. And you can read the book in less than 90 minutes to go change your life. There you go, The Latte Factor. And it's out now as well. So thank you so much, David, for breaking all that down.